there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with even more exclusive content with over 150 channels in your vehicle, including the widest, deepest variety of music ad-free. Root for your team. Get news. Listen to whatever makes you laugh. And hear all about your favorite stars. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels filled with music and enjoy a favorite shows with Sirius XM Video. Thousands of hours of shows and performances on demand. What you love is on now. The Canadian 12-volt electronic distributor known as Automobility has certainly been in the dash cam game since its very beginning, and they continue to evolve and go with the trends that are coming uh, to the market and staying on top of that so that dealers like you can make sure you have a source to get the right goods. We're going to be covering three different brands today in Blackview, Gnet, as well as Thinkware. We've got a, a dealer a very big dealer at that, that's going to come shed some light on the category for those of you who might not be engaged yet. This is CMA Showcase presented by SiriusXM Automobility Dash Cams, and it starts now. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of CMA Showcase presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. We are talking about ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. And within that category is, of course, a subcategory called dash cams. What started as a small device that was available in little blister, cute blister packs, uh, has evolved into something much bigger. And if you as a dealer haven't quite tuned into what's going on with these new multi-channel systems and the demand that is out there for them, then you need to stay tuned for the next 60 minutes and learn about what potential opportunities you might just be missing out on. All right, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and invite our guest today representing Automobility. He is their Director of Product Development, and his name is Michael Rosenberg. How are you, Mike? How are you, Ben? Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Today, you're here, uh, and I need you to put your dash cam hat on because I know that's kind of your specialty. Uh, it's something yeah. that you always get excited to talk about. How important exactly is that dash cam category for automobility? And am I correct in saying that some dealers might not be fully aware of the potential of said category yet? Well, I think if they're not aware, they're, they're certainly missing out. It's a category that's huge for automobility and has been for many, many years. We got into the category in 2014 and when we launched Blackview to the Canadian market for the first time. And it's been a, a great category for us ever since. It's always been one of our best and fastest growing categories. Uh, increasing year over year. 2018 uh, was one of our biggest years, 2019 as well. And then, of course, the pandemic hit and nobody's buying dash cams because nobody's driving anywhere. But it, it's been coming back pretty strong uh, since last year and it's evolving a lot. And the technologies are changing and the offerings are changing. So uh, we're seeing another push again, another growth. And uh, this year is looking to be a, a great year next year as well. And, and I think what a lot of dealers might be missing out is they think dash cams is a category for big box stores and they just think mm -hmm. it's a cash and carry product and you know customers are just going to buy it and plug it into their car and that's it well you know that's not the case because those types of cameras are very limited in their abilities and the dealers are also missing out on a huge revenue potential for installation because these cameras work at their best when they're fully installed and entrenched into the tech into the uh, hard wiring of, of, of the car so i mean you're doing your customers a disservice by not offering it to them and you're missing the revenue in your bay while the car is in there. A hundred percent. I couldn't have said that better myself, Michael. And, you know, hard wiring is key. Uh, and the reason for this hard wiring is because it's not just about hooking up one camera anymore. Now we're getting into this whole multi-channel discussion and the demand for that that's on the rise. And we're definitely going to go into that today. What can you tell us that you've seen so far with this trend in multi-channel systems coming it, into play? It's definitely trending. I mean, it started off, these cameras came out, it was a, it was a one-channel system that you just have facing out to your front windshield and you're capturing the view in front of you. 
And then over time, it's evolved into a two-channel system. So you're capturing what's in front of you, what's behind you, uh, which was obviously very important. Somebody rear-ends you. If you don't have footage of it, what's the point? So, so that was really a two-channel system. Uh, 2018, 2019 was, was our biggest categories. And now as things have evolved, now you're coming into multi-channel systems. So three-channel, four-channel, five-channel systems. So you're able to capture views of the front, the back, the interior of the car. So Uber drivers, mm. Lyft drivers, ride sharing, uh, parents that want to monitor what's going on with their kids inside the car. Are they distracted? Uh, there is even driver, driver monitoring systems coming out from Blackview that will um, focus on distracted driving when the driver gets drowsy or if he's distracted doing something else, it will send an alert. So there's all kinds of technologies evolving. And, and we haven't even mentioned commercial and fleet yet. That, that's a whole other category, but that's huge too. You know, Amazing. Not, not just on the inside of the vehicle, but you can have monitoring on the outside. So for buses and trucks, you can have exterior cameras going along the sides of the vehicle. In interior uh, uh, for trucks for cargo monitoring, so there, it, there's all kinds of, of possibilities. And, and, and it's guys, just so we're aware, I mean, it's happening right now. Like these are the type of products that are coming out right now, becoming available. The brands that we'll be discussing today that are available through Automobility are there. And I know Michael's going to break that all out for us. So if you're not selling dash cams, especially on a custom install, hardwire type of system, or for small businesses and fleets, you need to pay attention. Mike, Absolutely. on that note. I know you have a presentation set up. We're going to set you up. And when we come back, uh, we also have an amazing Canadian-based retailer that's joining us to give us some testimonial. Um, and it's called Black Box My Car. But for now, Michael, you have the stage, and we'll, we'll see you in a bit. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. So dash cam category. Uh, you know, so, some key things, just like I was mentioning at, at the onset. Originally one channel cameras, two channel cameras is what they've evolved to, and now multi-channel cameras that we'll, we'll go through in the presentation in our discussion. We'll see what kind of offerings are available and what their purposes are. The, the range has, has considerably evolved as well over the years. They started off being a, a VGA camera way back when, and uh, they've evolved to uh, 720p and then full HD and now you've got offerings of 2K, UHD, Quad HD. So you have all different kinds of, of products available on the market. Parking mode is something very, very key that a lot of people overlook and they just think a dash camera is just there while you're driving. Um, so we're gonna get into talking about parking mode a little bit later and how uh, some of our products that we uh, offer differ from a lot of the other products on the market. Storage is another big factor. These products, obviously record onto something. So they all record onto a, a micro SD card and uh, they vary in range from eight gig up to one terabyte. So like for example, 4K cameras, obviously the, high, the bigger the file, the bigger the storage you're gonna require. Cloud features is another big category that's evolved over the last few years is the ability to store data and monitor and track your data in the cloud. So we'll get into that. And then the products that we carry that we're gonna be looking at today are all uh, South Korean uh, manufacturers and they have the top best reputation of the products available on the market today. So the brands that we're going to be looking at today are all South Korean products. As I mentioned, there's Blackview, which was one of the OG brands and they really have a, a cult following and a very iconic look to their design. There's a GNET, which is a newer player to the industry. And then we have Thinkware, which uh, we also launched back in, I think it was 2017 possibly and that's also become a huge uh, player in the canadian marketplace it's probably one of the biggest brands right now very well known so i wanted to break up this presentation and kind of do a, a good better best scenario and kind of walk through how we evolve from where we started and where the technology is gone and going to so i picked a couple of uh, unique SKUs from each product offering from each brand. They all have a uniform uh, product offering of standard features. All the cameras that we offer today pretty much are all uh, multi-channel in, in sense that they're at least two-channel. Uh, Blackview still has a couple of one-channel cameras around. Their DR590 series comes in a one-channel and two-channel offering. Uh, everything else that they have they call it a one channel, but they're really a two channel. It's, they have like a DR750 one channel, but it's really a two channel cam uh, camera that 
includes one camera. So you can add on a second camera, which is something newer for Blackview. In the past, their one channel was just a one channel. You can never add anything on. So now it's adaptable. Um, then you uh, have uh, GNET and Thinkware. These are all kind of, like I said, your good scenario. These are your entry scenarios, but these are far from entry. These are considerably better than many of the other products available on the market. They all have great parking modes, again, which we'll get into the uh, quality of recordings up to 60 frames per second. The storage capabilities are fantastic on, on these cameras, uh, up to 256 gigabytes, up to one terabyte on the uh, GNET. And so all of these offer uh, full 1080p resolution front and rear, which has also come a long way. Uh, initially, like I said, they were 720p in the rear for the most part. Now they're pretty much all at minimum uh, 1080p in the rear. Time-lapse parking mode recording. Again, we're gonna get into parking mode a little bit later. And all of these have Wi-Fi capabilities. So you have the ability to connect via an app, iOS or Android, that you're able to control all the settings in the dash cam and view all of your footage and download them to your phone and you can share them. So this is your starting point of a 1080p uh, offering. Oh, and also the uh, Blackview, I just wanna mention, I threw it onto this slide. They have an LTE model. So it has an integrated uh, LTE modem and a SIM card slot. So you're able to connect to the cloud via their integrated LTE. When you step up from the uh, entry level, you're getting into a better picture quality range right now. So now we're looking at the 2K offerings from the various companies. GNET and Thinkware right now are the only two that offer these uh, of these brands that we're showing today. They all include Sony Starvis image sensors, which are the best image sensors on the market for uh, image sharpness and low light sensitivity. Uh, they all have rear cameras. All of these are 1080p in the rear for the Gion 2 and for the QA100 Thinkware. The Q1000, which is the latest offering from Thinkware, uh, offers a dual 2K, so 1440p in the front and the rear. Uh, some of the functionality like on the GNET has H.265 compression. So you're able to take a large file and compress that down so you're not taking up as much space on the memory card. All these units have uh, built-in Wi-Fi again and built-in GPS as well. All of these units also include a hardwire cable, which is another a feature that sets them apart from all the entry-level brands on the market that typically just come with a cigarette lighter plug, which again, we'll get into, which reverts back to the parking mode. Stepping up from this uh, level of 2K, you're of course jumping up in the best level of image quality, and that would be 4K. So all of these three models, Black Fugina and Thinkware, all have a 4K offering, one or two channel again, the think where uh, the black view is the same thing it says one or two channel but it's really a two channel camera that either comes with one or two cameras uh, the black view and the gnet are 1080p in the rear while the thinkware is 2k in the rear and uh again this uses the latest variant of the uh, sony starvis uh, image sensors and of course, again, all of these have a uh, cloud offering and uh, integrated GPS. The GPS is required if you wanna track uh, where you are, obviously, it, it'll help track the speed. If without a GPS in a, in a dash cam, it won't track your speed, it won't record your speed. And then you have features on the Thinkware cameras that'll give you uh, red light and, and speed cam uh, uh, alerts of where they are, and again, that's because of the built-in GPS functionality. It knows exactly where you are and it has the database of those cameras built into the, uh, into the devices. After that, we jump up to our latest evolving technologies, which is multi-channel. In multi-channel, it's really for anybody. It could be for personal use, which would, uh, let's say, for example, I mentioned earlier, if a parent wants to monitor their uh, child's driving behavior, you'll have a, a third channel to look at the interior view of the car. So in addition to a, a, a camera for the front and a camera looking out the back window, you'll get a third camera that has infrared technology. So it works during the day and it works during the night. So just to give you an idea, uh, let's try and hold up a couple of cameras here. Here's the Blackview iconic look, put it in front of my face. So this is a 
the typical cylindrical design of a black view. The rear view camera looks pretty much the same, just a miniaturized version. Uh, and then you have, there you go. And then, so that's just a, a miniature version of the front. And then you'll see the infrared camera has two infrared beams so that it'll pick up at night what is going on inside the vehicle. And um, those are good for not only apparent, like I said, but the primary function that these cameras came out with was with the ride sharing in mind, Uber and Lyft drivers. So you're monitoring what you need to monitor on the exterior, but you're also monitoring uh, whether it be uh, your passengers or, like I said, if you're a, a parent and you want to monitor the driver, it depends on where you're positioning the camera. So you're having complete control over what's being viewed on the inside and the outside. Additionally, with parking mode on, if somebody breaks into your car, you're getting a pretty good view of what's going on inside your car, as opposed to if it was a smash and grab and you may or you may not get a, a visual from the outside cameras, well, now you're, cap you're capturing that footage on the inside as well. Going up from a three channel, a lot of the uh, functionality increases as you go into fleet business and uh, uh, commercial. So you're able to go up to five channels, as I said. GNET offers multiple scenarios. Actually, on the black view, you have maximum three channel. You get uh, uh, front camera, rear camera, and an interior camera. You can also get an infrared exterior camera that is waterproof to install onto uh, trucks and buses if required. On the GNET, you have multiple options on their basic Gion 3 that will allow you to connect either a front, uh, an interior camera and a rear camera, or you can connect two exterior cameras, let's say on the side mirrors. The GT900 from GNET allows you to connect up to four channels. It's a four channel system. So you can get all different kinds of views. Uh, again, you can get waterproof cameras that will capture all different angles from the outside. Thinkware has uh, something clever that they designed their multiplexer system, which is adaptable with their F200 Pro and their F790, which will allow you to go up to five channels and capture even more. So as the technology evolves, you're going to be able to do things um, with live tracking if you have a hotspot in your car and you want to do some fleet management and you want to have control over seeing your drivers, knowing where your drivers are located. So you're not only going to have a good view of all the different angles, but you're also with the GPS, you're going to be able to know where your drivers are. You're going to be able to store all that data in the cloud. With the black view, as I said, you have the built-in functionality of LTE on some of their models, although that's a two-channel system. Um, and uh, in, in fact, there's even new technology coming out from Blackview that's going to have a another camera, which is this, which is a driver monitoring system, which will uh, detect when there's a distracted driving situation going on. If the driver's distracted, if he's texting, if he's not looking at the road, if he's drowsy, it will detect that and it will cleverly sound a large beep in the vehicle to wake up the driver or get his attention again, focused back on the road. So there's all these new technologies uh, in the evolving dash cam market. And these are all things that uh, are gonna make it propel again in, into another dimension over the next couple of years as, as things evolve. It's a great business for dealers to be in because it's one of the few businesses that are constantly getting free advertising. You know, dash cams are always being talked about on the news. And uh, there's always footage of, well, this happened and it was captured on dash cam or you're having uh, authorities requesting if you have dash cam footage, can you please bring it forward as we're investigating a situation that happened? There's, there's really no other 12 volt category where you're getting all this free advertising all the time to, to, uh, to get these products and, and to have customers coming in asking you about these products. So, you know, why offer dash cams? Well, the obvious is it's, it's in a safety add-on for any vehicle to provide your customer with peace of mind behind the wheel. And almost no vehicles have factory solutions installed. So it, you have a huge uh, opportunity with almost every vehicle that comes into your bay. They're there, it's a captive audience. And 
more than likely, if you haven't sold them a dash can, if they're a good customer of yours, well, you have that opportunity to, to get that business. The difference also with um, dealers thinking that it's a cash and carry business and it's really a big box business is, is going back to the parking mode. And the parking mode is, is so critical because that's what monitors your, your vehicle, as it sounds, parking mode when your car is parked. Now, the power goes off to your cigarette lighter after five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever the case may be, depending on the vehicle. So if that uh, dash cam is plugged into the cigarette lighter, the power is gone. So you really need to hardwire it to the system. And also, we're going to talk a little bit later about how parking modes are different from dash cam to dash cam and why the South Korean dash cams really do it better. So it's very important to have your parking mode hardwired to the vehicle. And, and the big box stores don't offer any kind of installation facility. So really, those cash and carry products are either going to end up being plugged into the cigarette lighter or they're going to end up in the dealer's shops coming in to have it hardwired for them. So you'd be better off just having the products right away to offer to your customers. It's, it's a non-invasive installation. And if you have the customers already on site, you're already doing other work in their car and it's a pretty easy installation. So it's just incremental revenue while the customer is there. You also have the opportunity while they're there to train them and, and educate them on, on this category. And, and it builds more confidence in your customers by you uh, referring them this, this great opportunity to have this in your car. And it's not just for, you know, dash cam starting, started off as the cool thing to have. And, oh, I, I'm capturing these things happening in front of my car and, it's, and look at all this fun things. But it's really evolved to really a, a safety thing that everybody really should have. And it, it appeals to a very wide range of, of, of customers out there. Um, and, and, the, and the last thing is, you know, dash cams ha have evolved over the years to the point where there's really still a huge market to be, uh, to be tapped into, but there's also a huge market of dash cam users. And just like smartphones, people love upgrading and people love keeping up with the latest tech and the, and the latest gear. So uh, it, it's an opportunity if someone, you know, has a one channel system in their car or maybe a 720p or even a 1080p camera, it's a good opportunity to, to upgrade them to a 2K or a 4K or maybe even a multi-channel system. They're there and, and they're, they're captive. So take advantage of, of that. And uh, I think that's all we got for now. Let's go back to Ben. A lot of information. That was a lot of information, but certainly raised a lot of eyebrows for me, and I've taken a lot of notes. And some of the stuff that you've just mentioned there, I definitely want to reach out to our next guest. So what we're going to do now, uh, Mike, I'm going to ask you to get in the back studio because we've got a, a special online retailer that does tremendously well. So why don't you help me um, in, uh, intro these guys? So who, who are these guys known as Black Box My Car? So these guys are... They are the biggest e-tailer for sure in North America for, for dash cams. Uh, they do it. I mean, they wrote the book on it. I mean, they, they've been doing it a long time. They've been doing dash cams as long as we've been selling dash cams. Uh, we kind of got into the dash cam category because of Black Box My Car around the same time. And they, they just know it so well. They're, they have a huge team that they've put together. They're almost, I think, 30 people on their team that focuses on dash cams like they eat sleep and breathe dash cams so their their main core business is online they do have a retail location in uh, richmond british columbia and uh, but really they are the gurus they are the go-to's they do how-to videos unboxing videos they've got it all on their platform and they're a, just a breadth of information i'm, I'm so pleased to have uh, ben from uh, black box my car with us today to join us all right, so great Very intro. Uh, we'll ask you to get in the back studio as I get ready to bring on our guest. So as, as you heard what Michael mentioned there, they are an e-tailer. They also have a brick and mortar location. We wanted to bring them in to kind of pick their brain because these guys are really ahead of the curve. They've been on it for a long time. And a lot of the, the new this new technology that Michael was referring to, I'd like to pick Ben's brain on, on what that's all about. So without further ado, let's welcome our guest today, representing Black Box My Car. He's their senior online marketplaces manager, Mr. Ben Wong. Ben, how are you doing today? Good, um, great to be here. Awesome, man. Well, thank you for the first time on CMA, so welcome. And as you can see, uh, we talk a lot and we're also kind of nerdy and geeky and I hope you can uh, kind of join us in this geekness, geekiness. Yeah, I think I think we're, we're dash cam geeks here too, so uh, we'll get along fine. 
Well, okay. So first thing out of the out of the gate, you know, Mike has has been talking about you guys as kind of being the reference with, as far as an online resource for dash cam um, retailing. Why don't you give us a little bit of background history on who is Black Box My Car? Yeah. So um, Black, Box My, Black Box My Car is the uh, I'd say largest North America dash cam supplier. Um, and, and kind of like how we start, got started was about ten years ago. Um, this year is our tenth year anniversary. And uh, about around 10 years ago, um, our CEO, Alex Jang, um, his family members got into a pretty bad traffic accident. And, and so one of the issues that he came into is that he couldn't find any sort of video um, you know, evidence or, or even like witnesses around to kind of help testify. So that turned into a whole long um, battle of ICBC to prove like, you know, who's at fault, you know, and it, it's, it's a lot of like, you know, uh, he said, she said kind of situation, right? So that's when kind of Alex thought about, hey, like, you know, uh, in, in South Korea, there's so many of these dash cam technologies uh, that people use, but you know, it's not really apparent here in North America. So that's when- you know, This was like uh, 10 years ago, South Korea was already ago. in it, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that was the reason why he decided to, you know, like bring this technology over to North America. And I think one of the reasons why Black Box Black My Car has been doing so well in this industry is because uh, instead of just focusing on selling the product, we are here to tell a story, you know, um, tell people why they need these dash cams. And, and, um, and, and, and that's one of the reasons why we do so many of these, um, you know, YouTube videos on unboxing, on installation, and basically just, we want to just flood, um, you know, the, all these kind of dash cam knowledge into the awareness, stuff. just yeah. all that awareness. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the awareness is something that we definitely, um, that, that is our core. Like we, we want it. So everyone, everyone who drives a car has a dash cam. Mm -hmm. that, that's your ultimate goal. Okay. Now let's reflect a little bit on, on Michael's presentation. There's some key things that I want to kind of um, reach out to you on and see what your input is. Uh, and, th and th you know, there's been a growth. There's no doubt about it. There's more product available in the market than ever before. There's more selection, more technology. Are, are, do you agree with those statements of the growth in this category? Are you seeing that um, from your end of things? Yeah, I totally agree with Michael um, in terms of like, you know, the, uh, the growth, um, especially from last year. I mean, we've, we did see a slowdown during the initial phase of COVID, but um, last year was a year that it kind of really bounced back. And uh, we were seeing like, um, you know, all brand new trends and, and uh, you know, uh, and a lot of more people who want to have these dash cams in their vehicles. Okay, so overall, a bigger demand. Um, let's get more specific about it. You know, obviously, uh, we can see from the manufacturers that we're talking about today, Thinkware, GNet, as well as Blackview, they're they're offering um, some pretty complex multi-channel dash cam systems. Is that something that you're seeing a bigger demand for from your uh, audience and, and client base? Yes, definitely. So, so before um, the market was very. Um, I guess like, you know, two channel was where it was at like a couple of years back, like 2018, 2019. Um, I mean, and, and I guess, um, you know, technology evolves, right? And during that time, like you could only get um, a two channel system out of, you know, the, the, chip, the chipset and processors back then. But, you know, with these new chips, um, now we're able to, you know, see like, you know, three channel, four channel, even five channels onto these um, consumer grade dash cams that are still pretty small in package. Um, you know, but they um, but they offer a lot more, um, and and that's one of the main um, trends and demands that we've been seeing in the market right now. All right, so that's real time. Okay, so of these multi-channel uh, dash cam systems, which ones have you seen a, a focus on, or which ones do, are you recommending or going out the door uh, right now? Yeah. So with these um, uh, with these multi-channels, um, I'd say uh, you know Blackview does a very good job. Um, uh, their most popular one uh, is probably the DR seven hundred and fifty X three channel, uh, three channel plus, um, as well as uh, for Thinkware. Um, you know, they came up with something different instead of like a flat out three channel system. They decided to come up with the multiplexer, which can expand onto their existing lineup. So I think that's a very smart move by by Thinkware themselves. Um, so you no, know, 
if, if you already have that camera, you, now you can expand and upgrade it and, and add like, you know, different channels. Okay, hold on, hold on. I didn't realize that. So you're saying you don't have to start with it. This is a modular kind of um, go as you grow type of scenario. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like you don't need to, you know, if you, if you don't think you need like, you know, five cameras all at once in the beginning, you can just start with the base. Um, mm -hmm. you no, know, right now, as of right now, I believe the multiplexer supports the F two hundred Pro as well as the F seven ninety. But um, but like I said, you don't you don't need to like you know buy the whole five channel setup right from the get go. You can start off with like a just um, you know if, if you're a little bit low on budget when you first start off with the dash cam, you know you can go ahead and just get a get a, even just a front camera, mm -hmm. and then as you go, you you realize hey like you know. I want to be protected on my side, in the rear, even interior. Um, then you can add, add that multiplexer on and, and just expand accordingly. Very cool, very cool. I like that modular. Um, before I let you go, uh, Michael, I made a lot of reference, and and, it's, and I think there's 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 a certain amount of uh, what's the word I'm looking for. There is a je ne sais quoi around these brands that are from South Korea. It's kind of like where the whole dash cam category kind of was born. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to hear your comments on that. I mean, you sell as a retailer many different brands from many different, you know, um, sources of uh, where they're manufactured. What do you have to say about that statement about these South Korean brands, in your opinion? Yeah. So um, with these South Korean brand models, right, um, you do get a sense of um, a bit more premiumness. Mm -hmm. you know? um, and, you know, they offer more features, um, you know, such as like cloud, um, ADAS. Um, but more, most importantly, I think that the feature that really sets them apart um, from other other um, dash cams is the parking mode. Mm, parking mode, because that's yeah. You know what? I'm going to ask you to hold on to that parking mode thing. We're going to bring Michael back in so we can expand on this conversation. Thank you so much, by the way, Ben, for uh, mm -hmm. sharing with us your your thoughts and everything from your business. Michael, thank you for joining us again. Uh, yep. Ben just mentioned a critical term that I was definitely going to loop you in on and have this discussion because. Not all dash cam systems are created equal, especially when it comes to that parking mode. So I want to give Michael an opportunity to discuss that. Well, you know, like I like I started to mention earlier, parking mode is recording what's going on while the vehicle is parked. And so, you know, one of the features that's great is is a time lapse feature, which will play back the video as it as exactly as it sounds in time lapse. So you're getting a long period of time and a very short amount of a uh, video. Um, now, a big factor with parking mode is if somebody hits your car while your car is parked, you want to actually see that event occur when it happened, not after it happened. So what differs with the South Korean brands is they have buffered car parking mode. So it's actually recording 10 seconds before the event occurred. And then so when you play it back, you can see the actual event in real time. I always wondered about that. Like, how did they know it happened if it hasn't been turned on yet until it happens? You just explained it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's in a bit of a dormant state. It's 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 using a low power mode, and it's kind of always awake, and it's there, and it's and it kind of goes back in time, ten seconds, um, because otherwise, if your car is impacted, and you only see it when the impact happens. You don't see the person walking up to the car. You don't mm -hmm. know exactly what happened. All you see is it went off and you see them walking away. You didn't really capture much. So the whole point of a true parking mode, which is what the South Korean brands bring to market, is this buffered parking mode. They they do parking mode right. And I mean, Ben can allude and expand on, on what I'm saying, but I mean, it, it sets their products apart from everything else on the market. And is this, Ben, is this a major selling point for you when, you, when you're talking with dealing with customers at this higher level type of dash cam system? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, this, uh, like this buffered parking mode that Michael mentioned is so crucial and important. Like, um, you know, like uh, for anyone who's gone into an accident, right? If you have one of these dash cams that only boot up after um, the, the collision or the incident, um, you're not gonna. Get, you're not. It's. It, it takes about you know, two to three seconds for the dash cam to boot up. It's still fairly quick, but you're gonna miss that point of impact. And if you go to your insurance company and try to file a claim for it, that's a very vital piece of information that is missing. And um, you know, for for us locally in BC, ICBC won't even take that um, footage into account. You have to have the mm. like the point of impact. 
uh, and and having buffer parking mode, you basically can see the whole event, you know, kind of how how it transpired. And and in order to, for you to get that insurance claim, this is a, a must have feature in my opinion. Very very good. Okay, and um, I, Michael, just to be clear, as far as Thinkware and GNet and uh, Blackview are concerned, uh, they all uh, feature this parking mode that you speak of. That's right. Yeah, okay. it's it's very crucial. And we, you know, we've sold some other brands in the past that didn't have that, and that was one of the reasons why the brand didn't continue and and didn't do as well because a lot of the people were realizing, okay, I have this, I had an incident, and then they come in after the fact and they're saying, well, it didn't capture my event mm -hmm. and you know we that's when we explained to them okay there's a difference between the cameras and you know that was a more of an entry line camera and here if you step up to something a little bit more premium this is what you're going to get these are the differences this is why we suggest this so you know typically we only today sell premium brands because we know what happens with the entry brands so well, we try and eliminate all those type of conversations and just offer the best things right out of the gate okay well this leads great to my next question. Um, ben, you guys obviously have a huge online business, but you also have a brick and mortar store uh, and you guys do installation. So my question, really, I'm asking on behalf of a lot of dealers that are tuning in. You know, so I've talked to some dealers and they've had one or two, three dash cams sitting on their shelf and they haven't been able to move them. Meanwhile, there's you guys, which like literally shoving them out the door dozens at a time. So mm -hmm. I have to think there's something going on from a communication thing, or maybe people haven't caught on to what it is, the angle maybe. I think it has something to do with the whole hardwire versus cash and carry DIY thing. I think there's a perception that a lot of dealers think the dash cam is that, you know, that small box, quick cash and carry blister pack 99, 149 kind of special that you'll see at, you know, these big box stores. What they're not seeing is what Michael is alluding to and what you're talking about are these higher, more advanced multi-channel systems that require a 12 volt installation, you know, specialty um, establishment to be able to install and hence, therefore, the opportunity to capitalize on. Ben, I'd like to hear what you have to say about that. Yeah, certainly. I mean, especially with the uh, the recent trend, like we talked about, uh, about you know dash cams and, and and buyers moving into the multi-channel. Um, that's where you know um, it's it's not as simple as just you know plugging in the cigarette lighter and and you're all ready to go with, like with the one channel back then. Now you now people want the hardwire into your car. Um, you know, what, if you have three channels, four channels, or even up to five channels. Um, they want these, um, you know, dedicated uh, shops that, that are able to install these things for them. And and um, and the side segment onto that as well is uh, is is battery packs. It's uh, one of the reasons why battery packs have also been doing really well is because um, you know a power draw for a one channel is two, and even a two channel, it's fine. Like yeah, you know, if you hardwire into your vehicle, you can get maybe up to like you know seven to eight hours of parking mode. Um, but as we kind of move on to like, you know, three channel, four channel, that, that duration is going to shrink more and more, the more cameras you add onto it. And that's why another trend we have, we've seen growing a lot is the battery pack. Um, like, uh, and, and that's why a lot of these, um, dash cam companies are actually, um, coming up with these battery packs as an expansion to parking, mm -hmm. mode, especially. Yeah. Just to support the, the, the just drive. to Mm -hmm. To further elaborate on that, so just so you understand, Ben, the, the way the parking mode works in, in these cameras, there are in, intelligent systems built in to these cameras that will monitor the voltage in the vehicle. So what Ben is saying is they'll last seven or eight hours because as they're monitoring the vehicle's voltage, once the vehicle drops to a certain below a certain threshold, it'll turn off the dash cam to, in order to save the, the vehicle battery. Right, right. Because you don't want it to keep draining. So th there are these optional batteries available that can extend the life of the dash cam for 12 hours, 24 hours, depending on the battery pack. Very nice. And they're, and, and they're designed to work with having that auxiliary power to be able to do that and run off the car when it's actually in motion. So that's, that's right. pretty interesting. Okay. And the battery pack obviously recharges every time you turn the car back on. And Michael, while you're there, please comment on my statement about how some dealers may be missing out on that on that potential business because they don't quite understand what the offering or the demand is. Well, that that's that's really the problem right there is is they think it's just a cash and carry product and they don't realize there's so many other opportunities, particularly also the the, the commercial aspect to it. You know, the fleet business is huge and there's a lot of dealers that are missing out on that business. All those products need to be hardwired. It's it's certainly not a camera that you're going to go buy at your, your national big box store and then plug it in and run your fleet off of it. 
So these cameras need to be hardwired. They need to be monitored. Some of them can monitor up to several different vehicles at the same time with like the Blackview fleet software. So it, it offers a lot more mm. expand, expansion and uh, revenue by not only targeting your individual consumers in your bay, but going after the commercial business is huge. I'm going to circle back and tie this all together, but I have one more question. I'm going to go to Ben for this one. Like I was, I didn't even think about this until we were in our preamble kind of preparing for this show, that three channel system for Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, or anything of that taxi drivers, that is a real thing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, um, I think majority of these people who are looking for something to record their interior, they do um, either deliveries on the side or, or they're doing um, Uber and Lyft. And, and uh, that's where we've seen a lot of demands from uh, these type of uh, consumers and customers as well. Um, you know, with, with, the, uh, with the previous two channel, right? You, you, you have to pick between, you know, you either want to record the interior or you can record out the rear. But you know, with the new three channels now, now you don't have to compromise. You can, you know, you can get your interior and as well as you can also get your rear. I mean, it's a thing. I didn't even think about that. Like, I was wondering for a while, I was like, what's the point of this interior camera? I like, there's no accidents happening inside the car other than maybe the kid spilling a drink. But then when we start talking about Uber and Lyft and all these things, everything becomes apparent. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of summarize this whole thing. This is about awareness from the get-go. You mentioned that, Michael, and this is about awareness with technology and awareness with trends and demand. I think, I think what Ben has brought to the table today is. Um, a little bit of shedding a big light on what the category actually represents. And, you know, yes, they have a, a, a North American wide, you know, website, but they do installs and every region requires that specialty installer to be able to put in this equipment. Absolutely. Ben can't have a garage in every region in Canada. It's not going to happen. He covers, you know, Vancouver, Richmond area, but for everywhere else across the country, there is a demand. You mentioned fleet, Michael, uh, you guys are out there doing remote start, security systems, lighting for these municipal vehicles. You already have these vehicles in your base. It's your job to inform the, the customer. Captive audience. You have the captive audience. It's your job to advise the customer, hey, by the way, we can get you set up with the two channel or through whatever channel system and be that specialist to be able to show them that you are the specialist and the technology exists and that you can help them. That's what I think it is. They can, help them. Yeah, they can help them monitor their vehicles, but also it's it, for insurance purposes. It's mm -hmm. peace of mind for yourself. It's peace of mind for the for the commercial business. But just for insurance purposes, if you get into an accident and you're 110% not at fault and you have something to back that up with, they're going to take that into account. And 100%. 100% you know? they will. And and if a retailer like, like Ben and, and Black Box My Car could literally focus on one category, dash cams, and really be very successful on it. What are you doing not selling any of that category is the question. That, that That's just the question I have. Uh, right. Ben, any, I'll leave you with the last word before I let you go, Ben. First of all, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for sharing us uh, some of your experience. Uh, what message do you have for other dealers that might have tuned in and be like shocked with what you had to say today? Um, I mean, uh, the dash cam business is still growing. I mean, like if you look around, like, you know, just, just walk into a parking lot like, and see how many people don't have dash cams yet, there's your opportunity. That's a great piece of advice. Yeah. On that note, Ben, I want to thank you and uh, everybody at Black Box My Car for partaking in this session. And uh, hopefully yeah. we'll have you back soon when we're talking about dash cams in the future. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Take Ben. Take care, Ben. Um, Michael, uh, let's round this out. I mean, first of all, let me bring up some very important numbers. Uh, we talked about three different brands. I want people to have the right information. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Black View products, let's bring up their website. It's blackview.com. This is one of the OG brands. They're still there. Not only are they there, they're category leading brand, top and, technology. And, and there's a real cult following with Blackview. And there's a cult following. Like people actually yeah. come and ask for Blackview. That's for yeah. sure. Um, one that is certainly gaining some traction, another South Korean brand, GNET. Uh, if you want more information on GNET, gnetsystem.com. It's an international site. Make sure you choose English and you get all the information there. Um, yep. Real quick, what, what do you have quickly to say about GNET? They're new to the game, although they're new to the game here in North America. They, they've been around for a while in, in uh, Korea. And again, their, their products are built great. They're a great company to work with, and they're adaptable uh, as we introduce their products into the market and their understanding. They're, and they're always 
improving and and, and uh, changing their app to make sure everything is is good for the North American consumer. And uh, they just have a great offering. You're getting a great bang for the buck with GNet because you're getting fantastic features, sometimes be even more features than you're getting uh, with Blackview and Thinkware. Like you're getting a bigger storage up to one terabyte and you're paying a little bit less. Okay. So you're getting, you're getting all the quality. Bread. At, at great, great quality. Value. Yeah. And last but not least, another juggernaut in the uh, dash cam game, which many Canadians uh, do have uh, that brand awareness with this brand because they are domestic. They're located in Vancouver. They, yep. they show a lot of you know videos of their cameras just around Vancouver. I see it all the time. Um, Thinkware products. And you want to check out thinkware.com for all the great products that they have, including all the multi-channel systems. Think, Thinkware has done a great job in Canada. Their marketing is fantastic. Like you said, they're, they're domestically based in, in uh, Vancouver. And they just, they, they get it and they got it. They also have great products, great feature set, and they're everywhere. You know, they're like the Coca-Cola of the dash cam industry in Canada right now because they're, they're domestic. Yep. Makes a whole lot of sense. And last but not least, perhaps most important, Michael, you know who you need to call if you're a dealer in Canada for any of these products. Automobility, baby. Automobility. Automob.ca. Get a hold of Michael. They will guide you in the right direction to set you up as a dealer. If this has inspired you to become more serious in the dash cam category, well, here's your opportunity. Get a hold of Automobility. That's it. Thanks, Michael, Fantastic. this was a good one. Very educational. I myself, it, it, this is a category I'm learning about. Ben provided a lot of insight that I was not aware of. And I think what, what kind of dash cam do you have on your windshield, Ben? Uh, first, I need to get a dash cam. Yeah, see, I, right. yeah, see, I know. I'm, yes, yes, Ben's laughing in the back. I guess even so I do not have one. Computer. And that's something I need to work on. So maybe I know some people I can, hook, I can reach out to. We'll you <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Take care. Have a great afternoon. You too. All right. So if you're interested in this topic, we're talking ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. Stay locked on to CMA Networks right through to October 12th as we have a different brand featured here on the networks each and every day. Tune in 12 p.m. Eastern every day for that. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention every single day to sign up for this amazing contest we got going on, Ultimate Fab Experience Giveaway. It's your chance to win a trip all-inclusive to Master Tech Expo in Arizona next spring. All you got to do is head over to our website, cmanetworks.com slash giveaway. Just register, slash giveaway, sign up. And while you're there, check out all the other great videos we've done with Automobility. They have their own playlist. And if you're interested in more ADAS, go ahead and check, check out our category for ADAS. It's where the 12 volt industry connects, cmanetworks.com. That's it for this CMA Showcase presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. Yeah, roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left on the radio. Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What?